Good morning, this is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit, and we're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as a daily office lectionary. Today for Thursday, let's take a look at the lessons assigned from St. Luke's Gospel. We're in chapter 22, beginning at verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison or to death. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. And he said unto them, When I sent you without purse or script or shoes, lacked ye anything? And they said, Nothing. Then said he unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his script, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you, that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. And he came out and went as it was wont to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray ye that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he rose up from prayer and was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. Now, of course, we know the expression from one of the Gospels, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And here are the disciples sleeping when our Lord needs them to be with him and praying, right? And he prays that, that they, they pray in order that they not enter into temptation, that we need to be steeled up in our reserve to serve the Lord through the life of prayer. There's time for sleeping, obviously. A good night's rest is important for our physical and for our spiritual health. But it must be at the right time, right? And if Jesus is asking you to pray at this hour, to be with him in prayer, then sleeping is not what is called for. And of course, what really sticks out of here, of course, is that Jesus tells Peter that he will deny him. And we know that that does happen. We also hear this thing about him saying, look, the time is coming when his end is coming, his earthly end, his earthly ministry. And he actually advises them to get weapons, right? Here's two swords. Well, that's enough. It just seems so out of character for us to think of Jesus promoting the acquisition of swords. But we know, just as it says in the Old Testament, that they will beat their swords in the plowshares, so we also hear that they are told the time will come when they're to beat their plowshares into swords. So uh, Jesus is preparing them for the reality of the violence that's coming, ultimately, which will be won not through physical violence, but through spiritual warfare. So today's Thursday. We have our Holy Communion service this morning at 9 o'clock, and it's a major feast day. It's the Feast of St. Mary the Virgin. I do hope you can join us in person to pray and give thanks to Almighty God for the gift of the Mother of our Savior, Jesus Christ, um, the Blessed Virgin Mary, of course. Uh, and, of course, um, if you can't be here in person, uh, you can join us on the live stream we are watching this morning meditation. And may your Thursday be a day that is full of blessings.